Hello everyone, welcome to this new episode. As you can see, I have a nice cappy today. <laughs> uh, yes, you can imagine, I mean, life is like an ocean. I'm the captain in the ocean. You see the picture behind. That's how life can be very troublesome and very, um, how can I say, sometimes we're all not always in still waters. So, uh, of course, the topic of today is going to be also a very complicated one, <laughs> which can be very stormy, and that is about toxic relationships. And what I would like you to give is a different perspective on that. So, I will start with a, with a very provocative point of view, and I will tell you there is no such thing as toxic relationships. So, many of you now will be like, are you sure? about what you're saying, I mean, are you denying <laughs> toxic, uh, toxic tendencies or toxic dynamics in relationship? I'm not denying that. So first and foremost, let's, let's see it like this. Um, it happens often that we live, you know, as I told, in the path to success, also work or relationships, we meet very difficult situations and we have many failures. Right, so things don't work out as we thought to be, and maybe we did everything. And especially in relationships, the thing that we tend to do sometimes is also fall in self pity and say, Ah, I always met the wrong man or wrong women or the wrong person, right? The wrong, the wrong people. But actually, it's not about that the people are wrong, <laughs> it's about that we have something in us that wants to be revealed. As I mentioned in another video before, it's everything about our vibrations that we send out, right? So when people meet together, when they join paths, because everyone is on its own path, on its own purpose and stuff, and when people go in resonance with each other, um, and we go deeper in a relationship, so the more we go towards the light, the more our shadows and the, our fear, fears come up. Right, so we have this really strong struggle between the two polarities, which is love and fear. So the opposite of love is not hate, but the opposite of love is fear. And love, therefore, is actually an act of courage. And courage is defined not by the absence of fear, but doing something out of love, despite the fear we are encountering. So, of course, the closer we get to someone, the more difficult also, more things come up. So, your own personal stuff comes up, like the, like the stuff from the other person. And uh, what often happens is that we fight, that we have differences, that we don't agree on things, or that we push each other's buttons. And in the extreme case, very toxic dynamics will happen. And these toxic dynamics are actually very um, driven by egoic forces. As I told you in another video, the ego is about self-preservation or protection. So when we encounter someone that pushes, pushes our buttons, our wounds, we will project it mostly on the other person. So this is a way for us to deal with the situation. It's easier to put it on someone else than looking inside and actually figuring out what is happening. So the thing is the following one. I think it is very important, despite with whom you have to do, it can be friendships, it can be your family, it can be a romantic relationships. If someone pushes our buttons, the thing that we need to do is not putting it on the other one, that's like a reflex, it's like reacting, but it is, we need to respond. And there is a subtle difference which makes a really big difference. Because reaction, something else emotional, we don't think, we just act like an animal. Which can be then in shutting down, you know, like stonewalling, or anger. Because we get hurt and we get angry and then out of wanting to to, to defend ourselves, we will like start a fight or a war or whatsoever. And we feel, be, we will feel that we are right in doing that. So what I would like you to give is also shift in perspective. 
So if you have this situation where you say, well, I always met the wrong people, it's not about that you met the wrong people. It's about that something inside of you wants to be resolved. If you encounter the same issue all over again with different people, then it's probably about that you have a pattern inside of you that wants to be recognized and that wants to be um, revealed. So you never meet the wrong people in life. My personal belief is, is that we incarnate, we come from a spiritual sphere. We come here down to earth at the right time, at the right place to learn something. We have this sort of amnesia. We don't know anything. We get thrown in this world, but we actually have sort of, uh, maybe sort of a plan whom we will meet, what we will meet, what difficulties we will encounter. You can believe that or not. But despite these, these beliefs, you meet people for a reason. You will meet like people that will, that, that will be for a long period of time or only for a season. You will meet people that you have incredible struggles with, that will experiences that will be very painful. But in the end, everything is a teaching. And often we meet a person that is our teacher, that shows us stuff. So to come back to my previous statement, I think that there is no toxic relationship because actually every relationship, every experience that you have will teach you, will show you something. So instead of letting our ego respond and uh, go in war and hatred and all these fear driven things, we should step aside, look at the situation from a bird's perspective, from the bird's eye, right? Looking at it from above, observing and trying to recognize the gift. It's like, I let you be as you are. You let me be as I am. But I will look inside and try to figure out what is happening. So it's way easier to say that the other person is bipolar or a narcissist and end of the chapter, right? And then we will meet someone again who is exactly like that. But it will be no help. We will only drain, we will only, uh, how can I say, suffocate in our self-pity without making any improvement. Every relationship, every difficult situation, everything is a possibility for growth, to work on yourself, to become the better version of what you are. And even if you are, a let's say, a healthy person, you can meet, of course, also toxic situations, but still you need to ask yourself why you are allowing this or why you fall into this. So that, that means that actually something wants to be learned. Again, that doesn't mean that you punish yourself or the other person. It's more about a chance to become better, to improve, to, to become a better person, to make your life easier, to make your life more delightful. So that, that's it, what it is about. It is about recognizing. So again, the final thought to conclusion that I would like to give is important really to look at our patterns, our relationships, what is happening and finding out the truth, not the story that our mind makes up or our ego out of defense, but what is actually the, proof, the, the truth and finding some, so the, the path of, of, how could I say also, redemption and and self-improvement. I hope this thought was helpful. Some of you might not agree. I am happy to hear other positions, but I think that this perspective helps a lot, or at least it helped me a lot to become for myself better and, and, and at, at, at least trying to find new paths, how to, to, to manage things in a better way, also for the future. So anyways, take care, be kind and loving with everyone you meet, even if those people treat you nasty. Compassion is the key. So have a good day.